All right, rank one. Oh, yes, yes. Such choices. <laughs> oh, let's muddy the waters. <laughs> That's a weird one. Hello, Tib. that can get pulled here, right? School teacher is insane out. Going for value trades here. I think Storm wins the game. So much damage. I just go all face and probably win. Pick me, pick me. How, does, how does he stop this fast enough? So tough. do anything right he never gets there does he get the I guess he's got a close to a clear here I have the frostbite so I win Okay.
This is a weird hand. Probably just good tempo plays. I could just tempo this. And cookie. Cookie is a lot of damage. Wow, Paul, but I also can just keep getting value out of this dude. I kind of like that better. Sick of doing brand this, but. Ooh. Buffing my board looks good, but also. Plus three attack looks good, but I think I go with the, the, the buff the board. Oh, I have a very good start, but I'm running very low on value here, so Let's see what happens here. But I mean if they don't have entitled customer next turn, they're in very big trouble, right? But coin entitled the six to all, yeah. Ooh, do I ever clear off my own guy here? To block entitled for a turn. Uh, it does so much damage to be honest. It does so much. I might do it. It seems reasonable. It gives me a whole nother turn of this board before they go entitled. Oh shit, I'm done. That's probably fine. Not sure about this play, but it does block the entitled. Um, does also block um, uh, the going hero card here for a whole nother turn. We do a lot more damage, right? Five drops don't really do much. Hola, estoy así, sí, un poco cansado porque estaba viajando hoy. Hmm. We did deny this. Just wait, it's actually really good, right? Um, I feel like they're going hero card next turn. Let's see if I can get hero uh, what I roll here. I get hero healing totem. Nope, I did not. I think I double trade here because I want my 3-5 to live, 4 to live, to Tamsin, which it looks like is that's what they have here. It looks like a Tamsin play, like they emptied their hand here. Ah, oh, they do have this, unfortunate. Okay. okay, I'm really in an awkward position here. I have no good plays. I do nothing here. 
Um, we can go Brucon next turn, um, and then we can go Bran Macaw. But if they don't, uh, hmm. Nice. Oh, that looks like a win. There's so much damage potential next turn. Unfortunate. Kill their own stuff though. So. If they have a heal card. More bones to All right. Um. If I get one single, I debate if I go double here. I think I'm gonna go double. I just don't like any of my other plays. I have 14 right, so if I get, if I get one, is that lethal? That is lethal, let's go. Alright, it was actually always double because we just needed one hit there. Got him. I bet we climb here. Six beating five, yeah, we took the five spot. I don't know if I even should have kept Wild Paw, but I did. Ah, ch actual shaman? Or is it a rogue? I bet it's a rogue. I had the chance to I could have gone coin this, but gotcha. The time has come to throw Still no defining cards. Well, there we go. I want to protect the, my face here so I can weapon hit stuff next turn for value trades. Little D-Gen, yeah. This is kind of a different uh, D-Gen motivation. This is more... Um, 
I just got home and I was like, eh, might as well stream some. I don't have anything to do. Hmm. I could go Macaw to discount this, but I think I prefer... I think I prefer... Duplicating Mutanuses eventually. Kind of wanted to hit the the flurgle, but I did not. Is it safe craft? I'm gonna go with no, and I can't because I can't even remember what it is. Therefore, if, if it was safe craft, I would have remembered what it is. Chat basically. All right, like if you craft anything in the first twenty four hours. You're basically like trading penny stocks, but unlike penny stocks, if you invest early in penny stocks, you might make millions. In Hearthstone, if you invest early, you just get like another day. That's what it currently is. Maybe from your current decks, I don't remember it. So nature waits for no one but me. Always little time. Oh, the, oh, this Flurgle one. Oh, is this a safe craft now? Um, I'm going to go with no, because... Um, I'm going to go with no, because... Um, what are you going to say? I might just go for Snowball Cardian Chain win condition, but get all the cards. Yeah, so uh, I mean, if you waited this long, you should keep waiting. If you waited it till this late in the expansion, uh, you should probably wait. But this card is, is a certainly a, a safe craft overall. So if you think, well, this card, if I play Shaman both Standard and Wild, will this card pay dividends over four years? I'm going to go with yes. But will this card be worth it for the next expansion? I'm going to go with we have no idea. Wait, oh, they just, that's a huge blunder, right? It's actually a huge blunder. You guys know why that's a huge blunder? Because now their board's just going to fill up and I'm going to win. I have triple freezes here. Yeah, that's a huge blunder playing this second one. I can go one silence, but I just keep hitting him in the face, so I should be fine. Oh wow, they're freezing for one minion here. This is such a this is like this is a bad play. I can't I can't they see that being right. Like now they're just board locking themselves. They have to go They have to go silence the uh boy next turn. But they won't have enough damage to kill me, but uh, maybe I do I hero power here? I might might be better to go wide here because they can only play one more thing anyways. Um and then I go Macaw. Also go like frostbite on my own things eventually. I could also play this to give my stuff a rush. Actually, I kind of like that. Mm. 
I'm gonna go face here to prevent myself getting some sort of weird. But, I mean, if they don't have a silence here, I win the game. Because even if they freeze again, I guess they can frostbite. Okay, that's but that's not lethal though, so. Right? Are they, what are they gonna do here? I have another freezy boy, so I should be fine here. Oh, they're one off chat. That's actually huge. It's actually huge. Okay. Burn sh What if burn shaman? If they're burn shaman, I could lose here. For sure. Um, but okay, they're trading. I mean, they just need to put me down to six life and hope to high roll, right? But they can't. I can only clear off a few other things here. Hmm. Is it Brucon here or is it? Oh, that was quite a I think uh, I think it's um. Such choices. I'm actually throwing lethal. No, no, not no, with the heal, damn. Okay. I do have this Brucon here, which is pretty nice here. Um, it might have been a mistake to um, do some of these trades, but. I don't have lethal here, right? Yeah. Uh, do I trade here or do I face with the 14? It's hard not to face here. Face is so good. Uh, so I can do two damage to all and then I go trade. Trade. Only kill two of them, right? Ugh. Probably do that one and that one. Yeah, I don't kill many of them actually. It still might be right. It's tough though. My time has <clears throat> to the head here. Okay, we just go for a tempo win here. Sounds good. Alright. <clears throat> oh, bad outcomes. I could just get lethal scanned right here by Luminous's Frostbite and Lethal. Be easiest lethal of their life.
coming, I'm coming. Pick me, pick me. Do I win here sometimes? Bloodless Frostbite is the seven and two, right? Seven and two, okay. I get trade, I get to do 17 and six. That's lethal, right? So many choices. All right. Nice. Could have gotten an honorable kill if I traded this one instead, but the math was hard. I think I'll just keep schooling and throw these two away. I'd much rather hit some value. Um, excellent. Good card to hit. We have a uh, awkward turn four, but other than that, we have a very clean card. One out of lethal. Yeah, it was a, it's a close one there when you get in these snowfall guardian battles where that one damage, because um, I you know went, went for my weapon hit to play around certain lethals, though I hadn't done that exact calculation there, but hmm, that's annoying. Because when you went your second wipe on Null, I thought you were throwing, but it's it's a reasonable play when you have the silence in hand. But because you just you just put your board to be really full, so I just knew I just had to be a play around silence lethal. That was probably okay. Ooh, it's an excellent top deck. It's a phenomenal top deck. So it's a, it's a very dangerous thing, but it's it's very reasonable with your second silence. But yeah, it was obviously you were one off, so it was a very, very close game. Blocking their turn six plays, so it feels nice. Like they often want to go Tams in here. Who here can spell Zinjari? Anybody? Mm. I could freeze this with the wind chill, which is nice. Pick me, pick me. Mm. Drag below is a huge high roll there. Question is do I go Flurgle here? Seems reasonable actually. Wait, they still. Oh, I guess they can go times in. Tough. I could have taken Clownfish there. I should could have just frozen there. Um. Entitled customer is much, eh, not that much worse. Uh, the, the, them going Tamsin is pretty bad here. Though if they go Tamsin, actually, it's interesting. Uh, it's bad. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Uh, I think I start eating here because I have backup eats for later. So I can go Macaw into Gorlack next turn and eat again.
comes in. Makes sense. But my uh, my mutanus does live here, which is nice. Let's see if I get lucky. No, no three threes would be nice here. I don't really want to deal with one right now. Dang it. Okay, this is interesting because... All right, I think I go Gorlack here to get Clownfish here because then I can play the Clownfish. Let's see. And then I can go Boner this and then get a really nice pop off for a ton of eating, right? Seems really good. So it'd be two, five, zero, and then I could hit. Um, yeah. It's always draw me Clownfish. It does. It just draws me Clownfish, actually. <laughs> okay. Oh, I got this guy as well. I forgot about that guy. Alright, we can do a ton of eating next turn. Boulder, Mutanus. Actually, is it Boulder, Mutanus? That's a uh, 7. Oh, I, I could wait a turn and eat even more. Um, so I could just go something like Snowfall Guardian Chill here. And then I can eat like a thousand cards. Like so many. If I got something like Brewcon off the top, it'd be insane. Okay, that's unfortunate. But it might be right to just go in here because it's waiting too long if I don't. Because I also could hit a, another battle cry here. Um, yeah, if I if I wait a long time, it's tough here, right? So I can do this for this. So that's eating three minions here, and then I have I just need to get another two drive and eat four minions, and that's probably good enough. Let's go for that. Uh, horrible eats so far. Uh, and horrible pickups here. Alright, well. There yeah, we got That's a good eat, though. But if they have Murlocky boy, we're very sad. Um, can never eat again, unfortunately. Now, um, if my if my boy if my boner lives, we go school teacher and probably high roll win the game with that. But if they have a uh, Murlocky boy, I probably lose here. That's pretty good, actually. Wait, is that they have a mortal coil here, or do they have it? Damn. Okay. Ooh, I think I take the Brucon here. Brucon seems really strong. Um, I'm gonna take Heal and Taunt. I'm gonna play super slow here. They don't have many good clears at this point. Let's see what we hit here. I'll take the fireball over the four here. That seems reasonable. Okay. <clears throat> At five, um... There's a lot of shaman players out there, so but it is it is surprising though, but playing at top ten, there's a lot of like wacky decks because it's such a, a it's such a small meta. But um, am I gonna die here? I don't have a gun. How much damage do I take? A lot. Wait, is that it? Do I just win here if I? Okay. Oh, you know what's annoying here? Chat, witness the top decking. I got him. Chat, just went to against Warlock, which is supposed to be a terrible matchup twice. All right, we're back to rank three. Maybe we get it tonight, chat. Keep the amalgam here. Maybe that's dumb, but coin two into two seems reasonable. 
Uh, uh, another. Oh, it's a rogue. Son of a gun. Now I don't really like going um, Coin Sleep Breaker here. Because, um. Why Paul Nold is really annoying. Never shroud. Never null. Never null. Nice. You know what? I was uh, I was think going to uh, trade here, but I think I'm better off going face. Um, it's like even good for this. So uh, yeah. I mean, I could just really heavily tempo him here. Maybe win. Like, we have so much tempo here. Oof. I get in a... Ooh, that looks like a Krabby chat. An incoming Krabby. Oof. Krabby wrecks these guys so badly. Um, What do I do? I'm kind of effed here, honestly. I, I think I'm going to wait to play this till post Krabby, though. So I can play this, kill the one Krabby, and I also could just Freezy Boy or Freezy Windchill. A lot of options here. It's a very not wanting to die play. Interesting. This seems good enough. It's, I think it's I like waiting before I start. Uh, we have a perpetual freeze hand. We can like freeze for so long, but we, we might want to set up for a freeze on turn seven. Let's see if they do something strong. They have two minions in hand. We'd love to freeze them and then uh, make them feel fear and then snowfall guardian chain. No. Playing on my phone with no volume. It's interesting, this card was running like so many decks as a 4-3 and now it's a 4-4. It doesn't even see play. My best top deck here, maybe Brucon, maybe actually Gorlack, easily Gorlack. Gorlack would be really nice here. Wow, Paul Cavern, really good too. Anything that's a four, four or five mana, school teacher, not bad. Just on the, the fill in the curve. This is awkward for them, in my opinion.
So go Brucon and then go Bran Macaws if we draw Bran. Or like Bolner Macaws and just like try and high roll. That's another way to win here. I don't know. They haven't played the two mana spell yet, but. Mm, that's very annoying actually. I think I just get this upgraded hero power going. <clears throat> no, that's great. But I mean, fireball is the best, but. So I could go for um, Macaws, but I, th I have to debate if whether I think Macaws or Snowfall Guardian Chain is better here. Um, I'd like to get it so if they go scabs, um, So I really wanted to get this back if they go scabs here, um, and I have very strong plays if they don't, so... Yep, yeah. so you can see why I, I uh, coined that out, now I get this back, so I can kind of keep the chain going, which is nice. Um, Interesting choice here. Get to the shadow. My last my last minion was Snowfall Guardian, right? I played the amalgam first, yeah. Then I coined out the frostbite, so so Oof, that's nice. Uh, I guess, I mean, trying to just get a lethal here, but... <clears throat> Should I imagine if Piranhas had charge, how good they would be? Mm. 
Or they're fishing. They're fishing, chat. They're fishing for the scams. Well, they can't even play the, the bear now for this play. That didn't work. Got him. All right, chat. We actually might get there. We're doing. We don't think we've lost today. One more win. We just took the two from D money. Ooh, he's actually playing the mage, Chad. Okay. This is annoying. What do I even do here? I think this is the right This hand's super awkward. Ooh. I'll do this. I don't know what he, he goes. I could have blocked there though. Maybe that was better. Uh, probably should have just blocked minion there. Because then he can't go. Uh, I can take him here. And clear my guy. Oh, I oh I see what happened. Um, let me see. I gotta think about my play. I wanna focus on this game chat. Oh, sure, and scroll. Mm.
That worked out really well, chat. That actually worked out so well. Hmm. This is annoying. Um. Mm. This is annoying. The six drop is gonna come, and I'm gonna get wrecked here. Actually. Right, uh, the six drop. I just have too many spells here. I have too many effing spells. Well, oh, I can block it. I block it every time, right? Okay, I block it every time here. That's the, definitely the play. Gives me more time. How do you block the pelican? Well, I don't block the pelican. I block the minion here. They only have giant spells. So they can't go the six drop and like wreck my hand here. That's that's the goal. To deny them from wrecking my hand. Make sense? Do some chain snowfalls. I think I I'm gonna let them do their play here. One of my things is gonna give them a super cheap thing, but don't think it's the end of the world here. If we go Belinda, it's not as bad. Can I place Flurgle? You can. You could try the three two Murloc. Uh but Flurgle's really good. So you can replace him. I don't get anything here, right? You should get this upgraded guy, okay. Oh, this could be bad. Uh, I feel like I clear off my own guy here. Because I don't want them to be able to um, wreck me so easily here. I think I take Macaw here. Wait, I don't take Macaw, right? Because I guess I could frost by uh, Windchill my own minion here to get the Macaw. The cycle, which I should have done the frost fight first here. Alright, I did not get me Tannis, but on the other hand, I do have a, a nice board here. Um, if I hit me Tannis, I can go for an eating win condition, which is easy to get because I have three Murlocs left in my deck. Okay, so I'd have to dump some cards. Um, 
that's an option. Yeah, this is unfortunate. Do I get wrecked here? Oh, no, I don't. Thank God. Could have been really bad. Okay. I draw one, two, three Murlocs, so I have to play all three. Okay. I go two, three, three, one. Not impressed. And I go cookie here. Oh. We're all set up to, uh, to meet Tannis place. Uh, we can go meet Tannis Macaw. A lot of options here. Uh, that's annoying. I have a 13 mana lightning bolt here. <laughs> uh, that's rough. This is definitely pretty tough, Chet. I have one more turn. I could have gotten some good eats, but they make a big board. I have Snowfall Guardian Chain. So this is uh, not necessarily a bad situation. Um, Rune of the Archmage high rolls are the easiest way to lose here. We have a value advantage, but they have a giant ping. So that this is what's what's beating us here, right? Um, if they didn't have, if this was at the bottom, their heroes at the bottom of their deck, we'd probably be winning this game very easily. But this is this is such a inevitability that's very tough to beat. So he's playing control. Weird plays. Okay. Hmm. I feel like I go for some eating here. All right, seven, seven, and eight, seven, eight. See if they can. Oof, you're gonna the rune. Okay. Did they get here? Ignite. Oh, that's so bad. Six. If it's okay, good, good, good. We're fine. We really don't want to upgrade the ping here. Seeing like literally all the small spells, the shard is really bad. Anything that just draws is probably the worst. That's so bad. Oh, that's so bad. They just drew uh, so much there. He gets to do a whole another turn here, which is extra bad. Um, uh, I could really use a boner. Thank you. 
If we could hit like a brand or a bullner. No, we've already used bullner, right? So we could hit brand, we can go brand school teacher. So um Brucon's not bad either, just because it's continuous value, but this is scary. Let me remind you who you're okay. dealing with. Them pulling out their dragons isn't bad because I have Snowfall Guardian. Um, Ignites might actually be annoyingly worse. Ooh, that worked out well for us. It's actually great. Neutralizes their own board here. Okay. Such choices. Going pretty fast here, but maybe we could. Oh, I'm done. Wait, actual druid? No way. No way, dude. Right? Is he actually a druid? Wait, actual druid gamer? Well, I can. This is good for me then, right? Starts good though. That's annoying. I could block nourish here, but um, okay, that's good for me. Um, wow, no play. That's insane. Um, I think I block spell here. Doesn't have any good minions to play here, I think. Like, you would have played a minion if you had it, right? But here's the thing. I'm in, I'm in an awkward situation here where, like... I don't really want to go command, but throwing away an Innervate is real nice here. No scale. It actually makes a huge difference, right? I get another turn. Um, so I gotta decide if I want to go command here. It's a very reasonable decision. Because if he goes scale, like, or what's it not? If he goes, um, maybe it is a command. It just has a lot of stats on the board. It's, hmm. Yeah, I don't really like. Ah, I, I could do uh, clownfish here. All right, let's think. If he goes innervate scale, so if I go all face here or something, um, yeah. So it's like it's hard for him to have it because he already burned an innervate here, so he could have innervate alignment and then I get really punished. But then I still push twenty damage next turn, so it's not the end of the world. Um, actually, I push. So I think, I think, yeah. Actually, I push. I push twenty three. So. I'm, I'm barely not threatening lethal though, so he can play alignment safely here, but it's not that good of a play because I put it on the three and that can go brand Brook on the next turn. So okay, oh, this looks like a win shot. Oh, my board's actually full here. Clown, you could eat in the lady next turn. We're much better off winning with tempo than e winning with a with a lady eat. Winning, winning lady is, doesn't do much here. Not gonna lie. 
All right, they can't really go alignment here, right? I could go clownfish, but I can't even get like Mutanus brand down next turn unless they go alignment, which I win anyway, so. What if you brand here? Um, so if they, okay, here's why you don't go brand. If they go alignment, I win the game. So what I do is I assume they're gonna, he's gonna do something else, like some sort of spammy play. And what's going to spammy a, a card that gets me more stuff? So Ooh. All right, top deck Gorlack. Side effects. Oh, that's annoying. Trust me. It's not worth it here. The bowling is too valuable. But I wish I didn't. I hate this play. I mean, I have a, I have a play, I have a hand that if I draw Gorlack, we win the game, and if we don't draw Gorlack, we probably lose the game. Because we can just, we can pop off, like, incredibly hard, but this is, this is an awkward hand. We just don't have much value here, so really hope we hit some good shit here. Wait, what? Wow, I did not expect that. This is a questionable play, chat, but I have no answer, so I go this, and I cry when they do something strong. How much strong stuff can they do anyways? I guess three mana spell here. I'm gonna go command next turn and kill her though. We should be fine. Okay, that's not so bad actually. Yeah. We got a free drag below. Um, I could have not played anything, but I think this is not that big a deal because I'd rather get the wild paw down, I think, but. All right. The problem is I get coin, uh, coin cleared here, but it's a nice play by them, to be honest, so we're kind of in trouble. Uh, I mean, still, if we draw Gorlack, we win the game. We go with this, Gorlack, Gorlack, we draw our whole deck, we play Mutanus at the end, and then we go brand this the next turn and we win the game. Come on, draw me Gorlack. All I want for my birthday is a Gorlack. Son of a Gorlack chat. I hate all my plays here. Do this shit. I don't know. Tempo. I really want to save this for my Gorlack win. Yeah, we played them many times. They're Warlock. What if you brand here for what? So when when you, when you think about going Bulner or brand tempo, I really want you guys to be thinking risk reward. What is the likelihood they remove it? Pretty high. What is the reward when they don't remove it? Almost nothing, because I have no payoff. I have some mana discounts and a value matchup. So I'm not going to do that. Uh. Can I draw Gorlack? Gorlack? Son of a gun shit. Do I ever go Bran? I don't think I go Bran. Just not worth it. Grand's too valuable. Hmm. Their hand's kind of small here, honestly. This gives us time, uh, which is nice, and their hand, they haven't got a lot of taps in, so this is very winnable, but we kind of need to draw Gorlack. I know I keep saying that, draw Gorlack, win the game, but it's true, chat, so that's why I say it.
I could do some like fancy plays here with um with Bullner McCaw here and try and just do get a lot of value. Um, I can get some discounts. But this is annoying. Oof. Hmm. It's my play here. I really don't know. I'm kind of scared. I'm gonna take a lot of damage next turn. Wait, wait, wait. Did I just scam the win chat? I think I just scammed the win. I'm pretty sure I just scammed a dirty win chat. I'm pretty sure I just scammed a win here. Feels good, man. I actually have a lot of options. Uh, ads. Sorry, chat. Oh my god, so good. And I got a Gorlack chat. Oh, it's so good. Whew! Get in the belly. Do I, did I just win? They have another wave card here. This is going to heal them, so, but... Okay, Mortal Coil is annoying. Um, so they have another three drops, so they can do a lot of damage. Ugh. Weird one here. Um, I don't have the win guaranteed here, which sucks. Um, so I guess I could... Um, I'm so close here, right? But I don't have it yet. Okay. Um, so I think there's not really much value to be gained. I have to play this. I don't think I can hit a lethal, right? I can hit like Nightmare Amalgam and this to... Uh, I don't think I have a lethal here. Let's see, how much damage do I take? Five? Okay, actually, I see a, a crazy play here. Do this. I play the cookie and I frostbite it so I can get some heal here. And then I do some, some lame trades here. Wait, I don't have enough. Oh, I do have enough mana. Oh, wait, I don't. Crap. Yes, I do. Yeah, I got really scared there. But I'm out of lethal range from a single curse here, so that's good. Um, I might have the win. Uh, so. Uh, damn. Wonder if I threw with that play. I might have thrown with that play. There goes my board. No heals here. How do I have all this Gorlack nonsense here? I don't know. Um, school teacher would be phenomenal here. What are my odds of school teacher? Two out of eleven. That could win me the game. <sighs> school teacher, please, would be great. Yeah. Ooh, blade master. Is that good enough? Hmm. I don't have any more Murlocs in my deck. It's kind of annoying. If only I had some warm soup. They play both drag below's. They have an abyssal wave, but I'm gonna get some. I'm gonna get some value here.
I don't know. That's so bad, actually. Um. I'm coming, I'm coming. I guess Gigafin's the worst thing that could happen here. Ooh, this could be good. I could high roll into heal here. Um, all right, let's see if we get there. Oh, I could have gotten that, yeah, but you can't like double down there anyway, so I think I like this better. Uh, Life Drinker could be good, maybe. I think I just go Bran uh, Veminous next turn, but Actually, I can't even play the spells if I get them, so maybe I just go Feminist. If my Bolner I mean, if my Bolner lives, I probably have lethal here. Cantaloupe, thank you for the raid, dude. You're right in time to see the to, to see the justice. Ciao. Oh. All right, rank one. Oh yes, yes. Oh, what a timing! What a timing! Oh, let's go! It's been so long. Whew, no one cares about me. I know the timing. How many wins on three? Uh, I think just one there, actually. But the, the two and the one are really close. Oh, let's go! Let's go! Dude, I don't even know what to do now, but... Hi, Bob, dude. Let's go. Whew. Man, I've been trying. I've been trying all week. Ah. <laughs> oh, I don't even know if we need to play anymore. Show stats, please. Chat, 58% win rate over uh, hundreds of games. That's uh, that's what Waiku says is what it takes. Uh, we w so tonight we went uh, we went uh, six and one to to get number one. That's a nice little win streak. Ah, time for Asia server. Okay, we'll go play on the Asia. We'll go to play the Asia server. So, whew. It feels as a good man. Hey everyone, if you made it all the way to the end, chances are you really like this content, so thank you. I'm glad you enjoy it. If you want to show your support of the live content, feel free to like and subscribe. But liking and subscribing always helps the algorithm of the show that you like it, so the, the thing is more likely to give it to other people. In addition to that, uh, if you are always wanting a No Hands Gamer video, but some days I don't put one out because I, you know, I don't know what to do, uh, we all we have another channel which is the No Hands Gamer VODs, which is the raw, unedited content from my Twitch, uh, where you get to see everything on the YouTube format. I highly recommend you go check that out, uh, so you can get your No Hands Gamer fix every day, even when I don't put out a normal YouTube video. Hope to get see you guys at the next video.